Wang Lin. So Wang Lin, reigning world junior champion, introduced to the crowd from China, of course. Champion, Zhong Mi. And the former winner here of the Danish Open, Chow Mi. Winner back in 2000 when she, of course, was representing China herself. This, her fourth Danish Open final. Incredible record. Runner-up twice in 1999 to Camilla Martin. 2003, she was beaten finalist to Gong Reina. And as I mentioned, she was winner in 2000. Well, her opponent making her first appearance here at the Danish Open. And as I say, reigning world junior champion, of course that will change very shortly because the world junior championship is taking place at this precise moment in India. So the umpire for this match, Fabio Beto. Chow Mi is on such a run of good form. Both these players are, to be honest. These two met, of course, in the final of the China Masters. The last Super Series event prior to this Danish Open. Chow Mi, born in Guangxia in China and represented China for many years. Winning a bronze medal in the Olympic Games in Athens. Just one career title for this youngster. That was the 2006 China Masters when she was just 17 years of age. Just 19 now, of course. World ranking of 22, but let me tell you that's because this is only her fifth tournament of the year. And she has been very impressive on her path through to today's final. That semi-final victory against the number three seed, Tina Rasmussen, the home favorite. Let me draw your attention to that. 21-18 in the deciding game, but she'd been 14-18 down and won seven straight points. Aye, and I think the entire crowd here in Odense thought that Tina Rasmussen had got that deciding game wrapped up. And of course, Tina Rasmussen was the only seed in the top half of the draw. The other three seeds withdrawing before the competition started. So she was very much expected, the Dane, to get through to the final. Jaume through to her fourth final in four tournaments that she's played. The last four tournaments, 29 years of age. Current world ranking of three. This is her seventh final of the year and a victory in the semi-final against the number two seed Lu Lan in two straight games. Now incidentally Lu Lan has just become the world number one. Now that's absolutely extraordinary to me because the last title that Lu Lan won was the Danish Open last year. So she hasn't won a title for 12 months. She's become the world number one and yet Zhao Mi is in her seventh final of 2008 and is ranked number three in the world. Does that make sense? Well, it doesn't to me. But of course, we have to take into account the other tournaments played, and perhaps she's had some tournaments where she's lost early on. Chow Mi. Of course, she's been in World Championship Finals, winner of the All England back in 2003. Twice runner-up at the All England Championships as well. All in the World Championship final in Seville in 2001. Bronze medal in 2003. And then, of course, Chow Mi quit the national badminton squad in China after Athens. After the disappointment of being told not to try too hard in the semi-final against teammate Chang Ning. Who, of course, went on to take the gold medal. They had a couple of years out of international badminton and then in May 2007 started representing Hong Kong on the world tour once again. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Van Ling, China. And on my left, Zhu Mi, Hong Kong.
Zhou Mi to serve level play. So the format Chinese player, the far side of the court now representing Hong Kong. Chow Mi, the number four seed up against the unseeded reigning world junior champion Wang Lin. One love. This the third meeting between these two players. First time was in the qualifying of the Singapore Open last year. The reason they were in the qualifying was because Wang Lin hadn't played enough international tournaments to get on the world ranking and Chow Mi had had two years off after quitting the Chinese squad and moving to Hong Kong and then of course the last time that they met each other was in the final of the China Masters the last Super Series event prior to this one and what a thrilling final that was too three tough games with the player from Hong Kong winning 21-16 in the deciding game so if we have a match half as good as that we are in for a real treat service over to all <coughs> Both her parents were full-time players, professional players, Wang Lin. Oh, that's a good clear from Chow Mi. Three, two. Oh, just wide. Service over. Three, oh. I know it's very early stages, but neither player has really settled so far. Oh, that's a great match. Oh, my goodness me. How on earth did she get that back? Look at this. That was Four. brilliant. Three. And that was even better. That cross court, and I think... Chow Mi, guilty of thinking that the rally was already won. Oh. Service over, 4 all. Oh, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. And her coach will be pretty happy with that. Five, four. Right into the corner. Well, she couldn't have walked across and placed it any better than that. Six, four. Terrific angle, ter terrific disguise. Service over, five, seven.
Well, she really is playing with such confidence at the moment as the youngster. These net shots. Always, it's the touch shots that go if you're a little bit nervous, and she's playing them quite brilliantly, which indicates that she's full of confidence and relaxed. And the clear is long. Nine, five. I have to say, though, that Chow Wei does have a tendency sometimes to sl start matches very slowly. The number of times I've seen her lose the opening game but come back in a decider. I don't know whether she doesn't mentally get herself in tune or whether physically it just takes a while to really get herself warmed up. I'm not sure what the problem is, but certainly I've seen it on numerous occasions. Oh, uh, that's a good smash. Real effort from Chow Mi to get behind the shuttle, play the smash. Good fast movement, back in court. Yep. Clever smash too. Straight at her opponent. And this is a good spell. Eight, nine. She has played an awful lot of badminton lately, as Chow Mi. Those three tournaments in three weeks where she reached three finals, winning two of them. It's over. Ten, eight. The Japan Open Super Series, the China Masters Super Series, and then the Macau Open. And that was just last month. In fact, the Macau Open was the beginning of this it's month. Nine, ten. Well, her net play earlier on was absolutely superb. The youngster Wang Lin, now it's deserted her. And it's the number four seed that has the slimmest of possible margins at the mid-game interval. Coaches working hard with their players, giving lots of instructions. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 11, 10, play. urgency in that rally. I think the coach has said, come on, you've got to up the pace. And it's not necessarily pace of shot all the time, it's pace of movement that really makes the difference. Ah! Going well, for the tight drop 11. shot. Usually one of her best weapons. Tell me. That's 
clever attacking play. 11. Singles players normally attack down the tram lines. Down the sides of the court, I should say, because of course the tram lines are out. Yeah, it was a miss hit backhand from Wang Lin. Service over, 12, 13. That was the one, just popping the shuttle up for a simple opportunity for Chow Mi. Yeah, nice. They're both using this smash directed straight at their opponents. The great effect. Singles players not as competent as the doubles players at returning those sort of smashes. 14, 13. Three quick points. Back into the lead for the number four seed. It's gone long. 15, that's the problem 13. with the slight drift in this arena. Playing towards that far side of the court. Danger of hitting long of that back line. That shuttle drops so low before she plays that over. attempted Four, drop shot. 16. There's Chow Mei. Just look how bent this arm is. Coaches will always tell you to reach up into the air and take the shuttle as high as possible. Well, actually, she's looking up, pointing towards the light as if she lost sight of the shuttle. Very tough semi-final yesterday, Wang Lin against Tina Rasmussen. Those three games lasting 54 minutes. Well, this really is fluctuating one way and the other, isn't it? Terrific disguise on the first shot. She knew that the reply had to come back to the net. And four straight points now to Wang Lin. Well, the fault called on Wang Lin because she touched the shuttle. Chow Mi just having a quick glance at the umpire as if to say, you can't have faulted me for touching the net, surely. And that wasn't the problem. 
Oh, goodness, she was very close to taking that before the shuttle had actually crossed the net. But I think it was okay. That's a great smash. It's fascinating to me how the players are really using that tactic now in women's singles. Smash straight at the body. And then part just saying wipe the court rather than getting the player to scuff the perspiration away. It's all level. Opening game. This women's singles final. Some good lift. Oh, it's an even better angled shot from Wang Lin. Absolutely superb. 17, 17. A little squeal of delight once again from the world junior champion. 17. She's just two points away from this opening game. She's been very quick and aggressive coming forward after she's played the smash or the angled shot down the backhand side of Chow Mi. And she's earned herself three game points. Long and the youngster has secured the opening game 21 18. First game won by Fan Lee 21 18. Uh, her net play has been superb, she watches that carefully. Such a good natural athlete is Wen Lin. Just 19 minutes in the opening game, 21. Second game, level play. Ah! You know, it's wide. Well, I was mentioning in the opening game. One that no. Chow Mi so often seems to drop the opening game before coming back strongly in the second and third. don't know whether she's a slow starter or quite what the problem is. Oh, indecision. And nothing indecisive about that winning shot. How many times has Wang Lin played this Round the head, angled, steep cross-court shot for the outright winner. And Chow Mi just isn't reading it at all. Such deception. Not expecting it. Well, once again, trying to be aggressive at the front of the court, Wang Lin. And that's a good sign. She may have made the error on that occasion. 
But it's certainly going to make her opponent think twice about playing back to the net. It's another low serve. Racket arm dropping once again, and taking the shuttle too low, and that's why she made the error on the drop shot. It's absolutely extraordinary, isn't it? Taking that at about head height. Xiaomi really is brilliant about moving her opponent to all four corners of the court, pushing her to the back, bringing her forward, steadily and gradually wearing her down, outmaneuvering her. Perfect net shot from Wang Lin. Service over. Four, two. Look at that, how the shuttle was spinning, tumbling. Then hits the top of the tape, goes over. Landed on the line. Five, two. Just inside the line, in fact. Good aggressive play. She really is very impressive. She's such a complete player, is Wang Lin. Good athletic movements, great deception overhead, and prepared to take the half chances coming forward. No, oh, but that's lovely. When those drop shots actually work, they are superb, but the number of times she makes errors because she allows that racket arm to drop so low. Yeah, that's good. Four, six. Take on this judgment. That's well in. Yeah, good little spell from Xiaomi. Five, six. There's the smash once again. Straight at her opponent. long. And those flatter clears. A real risk of them going long of that back line. Service over. Six. Seven.
Yeah, that shuttle taken by the drift once again because that was a backhand clear <laughs> and a big wry smile from Chow Me. How on earth did I hit that on the backhand and hit it so far long? Yeah, she's really decided that this attacking play straight at her opponent is the tactic to use. Seven, eight. Nine, seven. Yeah, yet another long of that back line. Chow Mein's not making the right adjustment at all. This, of course, is her fifth match in this arena, so she should be used to the drift by now. Ah! But this is a nice lead at the mid-game interval for the World Junior Champion Wang Lin. Four-point advantage. And the number four seed, Jao Mi, is in all sorts of trouble. shot that you really ought to be taking it a little higher. 11, 7, play. Well, things beginning to slip away from Chow Mi. unforced errors goodness gracious opposed to just nine from her opponent no wonder Chow Mi is in trouble ah! it's five straight points now to Wang Lin from 8-7 to 13-7 oh my goodness what a different complexion that puts on this second game. The youngster looking very much in command at the moment. Jill Mee's going to have to draw on all her experience to come back from this deficit. Jill Mee applauding and trying to urge her on. Oh, goodness gracious, that only just found the line. No. <laughs> she reads the game so well, doesn't she, Wang Lin? Stepping forward, anticipating the drop shot. Reaching out with that racket arm, tumbling the shuttle with the perfect net shot. Oh, superb. This is the net play. She is totally commanding the front of the court. Here's Wang Lin. 15-8. And I just wonder whether so many tournaments and so much success for Chow Mi, whether physically and perhaps emotionally as well, she's a little bit drained. 
coming here to Europe for the two Super Series events, of course the French Open next week. She does like to try that round the head shot defensively. Does Wang Lin. Noticed in her semi-final against Tina Rasmussen, her coach was telling her, look, really hunt it. That's the sort of shot, obviously. Looking for the round the head, not working on that occasion. Service over, 16-9. Well, seven-point advantage now. Let it drop. And it drops wide. But my goodness, the shuttle was so short in a way if you've got any doubt. Might as well play it because the likelihood is you're going to play a winner. And perhaps there again, just showing the confidence. And in total contrast, Jaume is looking desperate running out of ideas, going for winners before she's outmaneuvered her opponent. Yeah. Take a monumental effort to come back. Oh, it's just sensational. Unbelievable. That's going wide. Service over. 19. Just two seven. points away from her second ever career title in World Badminton. Now just the one. One point required. It's ten match points for the youngster. That's gone long, and the squeal of delight from Wang Lin. Two years ago, at age just 17, she won the China Masters. But this is her first Super Series title. It was her third final of the year. She's reversed the result of the China Masters final just last month. She has beaten Zhao Mi in the final. What a superb performance. What a mature performance. She really is a very complete player. Very much a star of the future. 21-18, 21 21-10. 21 In a short while, we will be ready for the prize ceremony. Wang Lin. Well, I say she's a star of the future. She's a star now. She and... Chow Mi will be coming forward for the prize presentation in just a couple of moments. But I have to say, China with Wang Lin and another former world junior champion, the 2006 world junior champion, Wang Yi Han, really have the future of dominance in world Bavin to perhaps zone up with those two players. They are sensational. And just look at that run of points. It was the five points from... 8-7 through to 13-7 that really made the big difference. Look at that. 21 unforced errors. You just can't afford to do that at this sort of level in World Badminton. And what's really impressed me about Wang Lin is her net play. Look at that. Almost twice as many net points won by the World Junior Champion. And she didn't serve short all match. Now that is surprising to me because nowadays, like men's singles, the women's singles players are serving the low serve more and more. The finalists at the Denmark Open Super Series 2008 in women's singles. So both the women's singles finalists are invited to come forward for the prize presentation. Chow 
Army. Well, her fourth consecutive final in four tournaments played over just a seven week period. The runner up from Hong Kong, Jo Mi. Chow Mi. Waves to the crowd, obvious disappointment, but I think that the program that she's had over the last few weeks has just caught up with her. But for this young lady, we will be saying this many more times to come. The champion, Wang Lin. First Super Series title for Wang Lin. That's a quick look at the trophy. And a big smile. Wonderful to see the young assistants all in costume. Characters from Hans Christian Andersen, who of course was born in Odensee here. Wonderful tournament, good sportsmanship shown there. That's lovely to see. Two great players. And what a tournament both of them have had.